Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we managed to get a fairly decent amount of building done. We have got the cell block on the left hand side almost fit for habitation, certainly the basics are in. We've got a common room built for the most part too, followed by the gymnasium and then in the centre we've got things like shop, laundry, chapel, mail room, parole, infirmary, library, classroom and also some built visitation and for whatever reason this guy's coming along with a another TV even though there is clearly one there that says to do dump hmm we also built a footbridge as you can see and I'm not entirely sure it's going to work because well they never have done anyway we'll uh <laughs> Hope that it does. In this episode, we want to try and get the area fit for prisoners turning up. So let's go ahead and do just that. And ah, look at that. It says they don't have access under that steel footbridge. Is that what it is? I think that might be what it is, you know, because it says they can't go across there. I'm not removing the steel footbridge just to remove that TV. That can, um, no, that, that, that's not going to work. Actually, do you know what might work? If we go for a wall let's actually see sorry let's put a door in there because it says they can't access that and if that's the case putting a door in there should fix the problem and that's exactly what it was apparently putting a door in there actually fixed that issue so let's now dismantle that and i'll wait for them to go ahead and finish all of no 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 it still says they can't it still says they didn't have access to that bit oh for cleaning probably Ah, right, okay. It's it's actually to do with cleaning. That's interesting. Well, I think we can really put up with a bit of a dirty footbridge there. That's, yeah, I guess that's the, uh, the bare minimum of problems we're going to experience. Anyway, let's crack on with some building. As I said, we've got some laundry, some shopping, uh, things like that put in. So let's go ahead and uh, continue on with the building. So we're not going to be building all of these rooms. It's not necessary to have a shop, a chapel, a classroom, a library, etc. Um, although we do want to have laundry at minimum because, you know, it's nice when not everything stinks. So let's go over to doors and to a standard door because prisoners will be working inside the laundry there. And we're going to place this door in on the left-hand side. We'll then also put it up to max speed while they crack on with that one and check out the objects. So laundry machine. I'll put in four laundry machines for the time being. We then need to have some ironing board. I'm going to go with ironing board small because, well, quite frankly, it does the exact same job as the large one. And it fits in perfectly fine. So there we go. We're also going to put a couple of tables in because I tend to do that. And then laundry baskets are just going to go straight across there like that. So that is now in. Obviously, we also need to power that one up. So we'll go to utilities, electrical cable. We're going to run that electrical cable to the center there. A pipe will also need to be placed. And we should be able to get a pipe to the main trunk in the center. And none of this requires some pipe work. Uh, people have mentioned about the kitchen as well, about not putting in some sprinklers. Yep, that is on the to-do list. I wouldn't worry about that one. But, uh, you know, nice call. And what else do we need to do? We need to assign people to certain parts of the facility. So we're going to go over to our rooms and then to a cleaning cupboard and the cleaning cupboard will be a minimum size 3x3 there we go it is now a minimum size of 3x3 over to our logistics prison labor and then go one two three one two three no actually looks like this can't because it's a too smaller room which is interesting cleaning cupboard will expand to there back over to logistics and then there's that grant, and then we'll turn off all of the work. Actually, we'll keep the work on the laundry because, realistically, we can have them working in there. We're going to remove cleaning cupboard jobs because we don't want a cleaning cupboard in here. And that is a nice bit of money. So we've got things like uh, prison manufacturing facility or the reform through education initiative. We're going to go with education initiative because that gives us a nice bit of cash there. And obviously, go over to bureaucracy. Uh, we've already got education research, so it's just building this other stuff and then setting them going there. So what do we need, like physically need to have happen in order to get some prisoners? Well, at the moment, it's basically increase the size of the kitchen, uh, put some more stuff in the canteen, build the toilets at the back here, and then probably build a gymnasium. That's the bare minimum, followed by obviously designating things for 
uh, certain grades of prisoner so let's go ahead and focus on that over to the kitchen and then objects I'm obviously placing a lot of the objects for the uh, kitchen stuff so that's just gonna go across there that's gonna go across there followed by the fridges and there we go that's all now set up we don't need to grade this thing but I am gonna put a sprinkler in there 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 and then there and the rest should be powered up the water will need to be plumbed in to those sprinklers so we're gonna run down and then down there we go that is now in over to this area where we have, well, not got some toilets yet, but we are going to place some toilets in here. So the toilets will go on the back row like that, followed by a um, sink and mirror. So it gives inmates that sell sink and mirror kits for their hygiene need. Indoor only, improves a cells grade and dormitory grade. That's a bit of a shame. I guess putting in, what else could we put in here? Water cooler and snack machines, yes, but I really... I, ideally, I want to... I mean, this inc increases the grade, but we're still going to put them in because it seems like a, a decent thing to have inside a canteen. We'll put in, if we look down here, we've got water cooler and snack machine and drinks machine. We're going to put in a drinks machine in either side. We'll put in a snack machine to the left of... Uh, left and right of that. And obviously, this is costing money here. And then finally, a water cooler um, to the left and right of that also. Sadly, we can't see what they look like fully, but we can see on the pictures the idea. We've seen the drinks machine before, snack machine and water cooler, and those are now in. So that's going to increase the grade of this, and we can probably check that by going over to our... Um, where would it be? Hmm. Not there. Logistics. Room quality. There we go. So, puff... If you put plants in and a fan, it also increases the size of that. No windows gives us a minus. All right. Well, we could place a window. Increasing the size, increasing the grade of this thing. So, what sort of thing would we want? Plants. It's no real place to have some plants in here. Could have a couple of potted plants in the center. Then in the toilet. And the best part about this is I'm not worried about making it overly complicated because we can expand easy. We can easily expand. So we've got window glass and window glass large. Proves a cell, dormitories, gymnasium. So that that, that window is not actually a window. <laughs> That's what it tell me, large window. It says increases the size of it. So it increases the grade of it, but it doesn't it say cell dormitory, cell classroom, dormitory, gymnasium, but this one is minus because it doesn't have a window. Um, we'll go for large window glass going in there, and that should make this a better grade. So let's see. That should be a fairly decent grade now. It's now five. Yeah. Um... If you have CCTV, it actually reduces the grade, which is interesting. Hmm. Okay, so that's now in. Uh, the common room's in. We need to place some more stuff in there. These cells are not graded, so I'm not really too bothered about that one. So let's focus on the yard. So the yard upgrades will only motivate prisoners with the clear for transfer DLC installed and the prisoner transfer option turned on. Running track, dumbbell rack, bleachers punch bag, tire apparatus, ten or more objects. Okay. So, let's go with a running track. Probably just easier to type in track. Hmm. No. Running track, not there. So I don't know... Oh, does it mean... The flooring? Running track. Yeah. So what we'll do is place a running track like that. On the outside. And then the rest is grass. And that should be enough for a running track. It also said a PA system there. Let's have a quick look at that. PA system. Suppresses prisoners by using regular reminders that they are in fact still in prison. Increases the suppression felt by inmates when placed in a cell block or yard. 
Right, okay. <laughs> so you can use that for that purpose. That's interesting. While we're doing this, we might as well do the gymnasium. So we've got treadmill, table, tennis, that sort of thing. Um, boxing ring. Well, boxing ring we have to put in, surely. It's, it's you know, it's like basic level. Uh, we'll put it in roughly. Do you want it roughly the centre or do we want it out the way? We'll put it in in the corner so we can fit more stuff in. Uh, no, that doesn't really sit right with me. See, if we don't place it in the corner, it's just going to be problematic at best. Because, like, what can I fit in the corners? Place the gym in... Sorry, the boxing ring in uh, that corner there. No. I'm going to move the doors. Oh, there's the running track. That oh, looks quite nice, actually, that. I think the wall walk a little bit faster on it as well, by the look of it. Okay, we'll dump that in the centre for now. I'll come back to that while I check the grades on this one. Running track, 12 squares, yeah. So it requires dumbbells, bleachers, punch bag. Let's uh, have a quick look at that. So... You also got tire apparatus as well, which is yard. Oh, that's uh, that's fairly good. And you can place it side on as well. So I'm going to place a tire rack at the far end. I will have some bleachers in the probably bit there and then a bit here. And the great thing about this, as I've said, is that you can very easily clone all of this. There's some dumbbells. I'm placing some dumbbells in the in the gym as well. I'm in that corner and this corner. It says chest and tyre stack. No, that's just walking around. We don't want a guard pavilion. A punch bag is more of a gym thing. Place them in the corner there. No, actually, we won't place them there. I think treadmill as well. We do want. Treadmill either side. Place the treadmills down the bottom there as well. In fact, I think I'll place all the treadmills down the bottom there. A fan and a gym mat. Well, a couple of gym mats wouldn't go amiss, would they? Fan. Bit of a weird one, though. <laughs> that punch bag will come in handy for the rest of it. And then training dummy. Yeah, they can learn fighting skills. Not particularly fond of that part, so we'll see. We might end up removing uh, a lot of this stuff. Going to check the grade on the centre then, and that is 7. This one is not yet there, but it does require some windows as well. This one doesn't for some reason, which is interesting. Anyway, over to objects and then to windows, glass, large. And we'll place one in there, 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 and there. So it's quite an open air one, that one. Over to here then, and we can double check these gradings here so that is no window so it's minus one so we're going to place some windows in here and we'll use what we did basically the old school stuff which is this small window which goes on the end there of each cell so this isn't really a grading exercise it's more just you know placing some in because it reduces the negative grade they're still waiting for the other stuff to be placed there but at least we've now got the boxing ring it says weights bench and a gym mat yeah ironically it's uh, the gym mat i haven't actually sorry i've got the gym mats ordered but um haven't yet got the weight benches in so let's put in those so weight benches will go in the bottom there and in the top there because you know why not okay that is fine so we'll speed that up to max speed while they crack on while they're doing that we're going to go to brick wall and we're going to place a brick wall around here and this is going to be our security room um, not entirely sure what I think what sort of door. I think we'll stick with this one, the standard jail door. We've gone with jail door grey on these ones rather than the jail door. Don't know if that's something I want to change later on or not. I haven't yet decided. But security room. This is going to be where we'll be able to talk to the prisoners if they're have any concerns about their accommodation and we can you know duly avoid all that um that's fine let's secure your room in and obviously we can do some in interrogation things like that this actually requires power in here as well which is 
I was going to say surprise, but not really, because generally they do need power. But they don't actually have the electrical cable underneath them, so that's a strange one. Over to the power, we can see that actually is running quite hot, so we probably need to sort that out with some more capacitors, because I want to place at least another four metal detectors. The problem is that we haven't yet got uh, another, or we can't get another, uh, another grant. One, two, three, four. There's some more guards. And let's set up some patrols. So blue patrol, as you may imagine, around the canteen. And also in here. That's fine. And I don't really need one in the yard. You don't really need one. But I do want magenta around the outside, which is going to be dog handlers, but for now I'll just assign one, two, three. And then we'll reposition some of these. But that gives us that extra grant there, and then we can go for governmental security ratings, which is a nice 15 grand advance payment, and then we can get the dog handlers when we so desire. So that is good. So laundry's in. This is being graded better. This is also graded better. No flooring yet, but not a big problem. Back over to room quality, we can see that room quality for these is quite high. 9 out of 10, actually. We only need a water cooler in there to make that a better grade. And I might as well go ahead and put in a water cooler. I'll dismantle uh, these on both sides so we can put a water cooler in and have that as a really good gym. Whereas the other ones, uh, the other uh, the other gym, I might do the opposite way around and make up a really garbage. But mm, if I was going to do that realistically, it would have to be... This one is connected to the high-risk one. Nah, we're probably just going to have a quite good gym. And I don't know, maybe have a gym up the top that's really terrible for the for the other inmates, but we'll see. Anyway, so water cooler for this one. Because of the amount of items now, it's uh, quite difficult to actually find them all, which is why the search function is coming in very, very handy. So that's in there. The common room, I think we'll put a chess set in there as well. Um, let's have a quick look. Chess set, it is chess table. And where do we want to put the chess table? We'll probably put them in here, and actually here and here, because then we can place the the chair either side like so. We'll place what else do we need to place? Looking at the looking at the room quality. Phone booths, computer stations, radios, arcade cabinets, CCTV, that's reduction and snack machine. We're not gonna have a snack machine, it's an average grade. Phone booth we're not placing in and the computer station. So I don't know what computer station would actually do. So computer station, let's have a quick look. Computer station caters to literature and comfort need and electrical indoor only. So we could place some computers in here. Um, it just depends on exactly where we would want to place them. Maybe get rid of perhaps one of these one of these pool tables. And place computer stations in there. How many did it say it required? It says four computer stations. Okay. stations can go on that side it also means I can now move that to the left hand side so that's I'm happy with that table tennis can split up I'm trying to work on the computer hardly is as the balls get <laughs> knocked around there that would be a bit annoying um, we also want a radio put near the put near the chess hmm I don't know where you'd want to put it. No, I think that's fine. I think, you know, we'll, we'll end up overdoing it. So, 36 grand, enough to get the metal detectors put in here. So, one, two, and then three, four. And let's go ahead and sort out some deployment. So, we want to say staff only. A lot of this place is going to be staff only. So, all of that, all of the bits down the bottom here, and then followed by this, this, these two sections, and all of that. And that one for the time being as well. That's not staff only, nor does that need to be. That can be staff only. Um, these two for staff only for now, followed by that. And there we are. Oh, apparently, no, that's fine. So, 
this is Staffonia, this is Staffonia, this connects the two. Obviously, no one should be allowed in here because of the bridges and stuff, but people can walk through here, which is exactly what we wanted. So that is fine. Okay, so that's put in. Let's have a quick check then at everything else. So the cells are in at a basic level, currently graded at probably level three, is it? They're graded three, which is a low graded cell. We want to put this to probably an average grade. So it's out of 15, but I think we'll try and get an average. Hmm. And you can see it says bed form, mattress, uh, old bed, canvas and paints, sink and mirror, soft pillows. There's loads of stuff you can put in there. I think we'll deal with that later on. Right, let's go first over to Bank Loan and reduce that down to nothing because, you know, we're getting interest on it. And it should, yeah, we now credit rating is now maxed out. Policy, we have kept default. Let's recommend every single one then. And let's go with what the game decides. There we go. There's all the recommended. It does recommend solitary, which we haven't got, to be fair, which is a bit of an issue. I haven't changed the policy on those. I will say recommend. I don't know why. It's very strange that... it You say recommend, but what it starts here is not the default recommendation level. I don't know why it doesn't do that. Anyway, let's change the scheduling, which will be changed, obviously, for the other prisoner grades as well. So, shower, an hour of free time, two hours of eight, one, two, three, four, three, four, and eat time, and then there we go. On the centre is lock up, which we'll alter for when other uh, prisoners come in. Okay, mid sec, fill capacity, let's do it. 18 prisoners. That should be alright. Let's see what else we need to do then. So the walls are in there. This section here also needs some doors. So let's do that. This will be staff doors though. So there and there, I think, unless it turns it around. Nope, that's actually exactly how it should be. We want to put in a jail door in here and then we'll lock that one open. And lock that open. Obviously, the other ones are going to be um, moved as well. Like, they'll have to be locked open or altered manually. These ones lock open. Lock open. That one the same. And let's get some utilities in. So, water pipes from this section. This one's already in. Electrical cable, electrical cable, and that's in. We haven't put the metal detectors there, but we don't really need it. And there is our first intake, faster than I thought. So, let's have a quick look at extremely strong, fearless, snitch, and some question marks. We don't know. Okay, so straight away we have found that we have someone who requires protective custody which we don't have and we wouldn't be able to fit it on this map anyway and we don't have solitary so i think we will leave it there next episode we're going to have to decide what we want to do with the snitch tom merwood prison number 514294 yeah, the life may be in danger. Don't leave them alone with other prisoners for too long. It is medium risk, but we do have a lot of traits here. So there's all manner of things that can go wrong. So there's a couple of options. Could go legal permanent punishment. Cost 15 grand in total. That will allow us to put them in lockdown permanently. That means they'll get fed remotely, all that sort of thing. That is possible. The other option is temporarily change one of these and make it protective custody and move it along. Another option, and it is an option, is just to ignore it 
and what happens happens. I don't think it's the right option, but it might be the option we need to take. We could always expand to the left if we got, say, for example, land expansion, which I'll start researching anywhere for a grand. Um, left hand side, expand that there, put in protective custody and solitary, which would go probably around there. Haven't yet decided. We'll have a think about that one. We will see what happens next episode then. So not bad at all. Nice grading. Very happy with the grading. Also very happy that we've uh, got some prisoners as well. So not too bad at all. Next episode we'll crack on, continue on, all the usual stuff. We'll have to keep an eye out for staff that we need to get, although I do need an extra couple of cooks before anything else. The amount of guards that we have at the moment is probably okay, but we do need to get the infirmary up and running as well. So as always, we'll see uh, how we get on. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed the uh, episode and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and generic partings.